All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from Seven Season Studios, and this week's tutorial is all about how to do this really cool woodcut image using a black and white image as a mask. Now, I call it woodcut or scratchboard. This is going to be version one. There's a version two coming out, so there are two separate videos that show two separate ways to get the same job done. So this came from our Facebook group. They wanted to know kind of how to recreate this image using Affinity Designer. So I thought, why not show you how to do a scratchboard image using Affinity Designer? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we go to File, New, and we're gonna be working the web persona, and we're gonna make it 1080p. We're gonna go ahead and hit OK. Perfect. Now you see I'm in the draw persona right now. That's completely fine. And I'm gonna begin by placing an image. Now, in your downloads, I have this trial woodcut image from pexels.com. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to blow this bad boy up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and kind of center it. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. All right. I think we're in pretty good shape there. All right. Now you see this is an image layer. Now what we want to do is we want to use it as a mask. Now remember in masks, black conceals, white reveals. So let's go ahead and apply an adjustment layer. And let's invert this. Now, the image is still there, but the white became black and the black became white. And you see I have the adjustment layer right here and my image. I'm going to left click, then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rasterize it. Beautiful. So now, I have this thing rasterized. Now let's do a background. We're going to come over here, and we're going to put a rectangle down and I'm going to move it down here. So now I'm going to go to my fill, swatches, and I'm going to fill this background. Now what do I have? A white design on a black background. Looks simple to me. But now here's where the magic's going to happen. I'm going to swap over to my pixel persona, and I'm going to grab a brush. Now, notice here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a pixel layer and in between the image, the pixel layer, and the rectangle, that's where the pixel layer exists. So with this selected now, I'm now going to begin painting. And now this is where your artistic prowess comes in here. Any brush, any color, any stroke, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work in red right now. I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this brush which is just part of the drawing set and i'm going to begin drawing now you see that i'm drawing inside the lines outside the lines right that's completely fine now let's say that i open the brush up a little bit and i start drawing bigger pieces well then i want to change colors and as an artist this is where your color theory really shines right if you want 10 colors 20 colors Let's say I want this highlight here to be right around this area of the skull. And I want the rest of the skull to kind of be that area. And then over here, I want it to be kind of tealish. So we can go ahead and you can do anything you want with the colors, right? There's no rules. Well, almost no rules. And then let's say I want the snake to be green, right? Cool. We're going to go ahead and make it a green snake. So anything with the snake, we're going to go ahead and make green. All right. So I've got this kind of sort of figured out. I'm going to bring in little bits of green into here and there. Tie the image together. All right. Now this hourglass here. And I'm not spending a lot of time here because I just want to show you guys how to do this. You bring the hourglass in and we're going to make anything that has the hourglass this deep, dark, purplish image. All right, perfect. So all we did is we painted on our pixel layer rather indiscriminately. Now this is where the magic happens. Grab the trial woodcut image, which is above the pixel, come over to the layer, and now rasterize the layer to make a mask. Ta-da! There you go. You have now officially moved the pixel layer inside of this mask so the cool thing is if you wanted to reposition it you could if you wanted to change everything reposition the pixel there 
you could. If you wanted to group these two, you absolutely could. And now I can move the entire image around. So you see our original images that we put up. That's exactly what they did. This works with any black and white image. And all you're doing is you're painting inside of that image on the pixel layer. And the magic that makes the entire thing work is this structure. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the group. An image rasterized as a mask. You see that? And this is where we did it. Over top of a pixel layer. And then you've got the rectangle as your base. Now, in order to facilitate this and make this go full circle here, you bring it in there, and now you're ready to rock. All right, folks, that's a little bit on how to do this image. It's extremely fun to do, and if you have any simple black and white image, it's extremely easy. All right, so on behalf of Seventh Season Studios, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, check out our course below. And if you've got any ideas for other videos, hit us up in the comments. We're searching for. 500 subscribers here trying to hit that goal when we do we bring on an entirely new free course for everybody that's subscribed to our youtube channel all right folks we'll see you in the next one have a great weekend